All right, guys, apparently I've got a bunch of um, last second, oh, just real quick, um, afterthoughts all the time. But after you watch this video, it's like 18, 19 minutes. Sorry if it's too long. Make sure you watch the video I'm going to upload right after this. We just do some more testing uh, just kind of um, inside the barn um, just so you can get a better grasp on the sound and stuff. So anyways, after this whole like 18, 19 minute video, whatever it is, there, I'm going to upload one uh, where we tested it inside the barn so it's a little bit cleaner and all that good stuff so all right have fun see you guys bye all right guys so i'm gonna play this whole video for you um i'm gonna start it right after this but if you stick around to the end you'll see um sorry as you know you could tell it's windy outside the sound was getting smeared around but, but excuse me volume levels going up it's coming down <coughs> and that, and that's what would happen um outside anyways right real deal so um and then Right towards the end, I started to push it a little bit, and um, I think maybe if I would have rolled off some lows on the vocals, um, I think it started getting a little too boomy, and then right the last couple minutes, you're going to hear, it's, it's almost like too hot of a signal was going into that Harbinger. And it could have been my fault on my end. I just, I just kind of threw it out there. The guitar levels were higher than the vocals the whole time, but anyways, it was just a rough and, and dry test, but in all transparency... Um, that's why I'm a big proponent of trying out your own gear, knowing your gear, and since this unit is new to, uh, to me, then uh, that's kind of what I got to do to make the decision on what I got to do. So yeah, windy, it's bad, sounds smearing around, but hey, if you take these outside at a place that's windy, that's what you're going to get anyways, right? So it's going to act different than the point source speaker outside. So um, right, 150 degrees I think this is as compared to like 90 by 60 or 90 by 50. And again, yes, I know. At the very end, the vocals, it seemed like, was coming in a little bit too hot, almost maybe to the point of clipping. So I didn't mess with nothing on the board gain-wise for my mic. And my mic's right where I always run it. Um, so maybe it hit the limits of the speaker. Maybe I have to adjust to these speakers. So um, I'm going to do more. Anyways, uh, video's long enough. I'm going to shut up. Have fun watching. See you guys. All right, guys. Check it out. Boys at school, wife's at work, and there's rain on the way. And with that said, ah, before it gets here, we're going to do a little speaker testing outside. I'm taking you guys along with me. That's what I do, and I'd want to see it myself. Dude, are you serious right now? I just loaded this crap up. Now the sprinkles are starting. What the heck? I don't care. We're somehow doing this. I and mean, maybe we're not. Maybe we are. Maybe we'll do it between the raindrops. You know, I've been thinking lately, am I a gear snob? Like I did a video before where we were talking about we built our brand with Yamaha DXR gear. Now I'm kind of rocking the Harbinger, man. It's kind of like the new girlfriend. You really don't know if you are like, you're kind of in love, but it's a new love. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I gotta unlock this door here. You just don't know if you want to commit yet. You're definitely not saying I love you yet. But it's kind of like having a brunette when you've had a blonde for a while, you know? Something so different. And in a weird way, can't wait to show it off. Alright, so yeah, you know what I mean. It's, uh, it's weird. I shouldn't feel bad. This is good so far. I may come back in a month and say, man, I had to take this thing back. It didn't meet my expectations. I don't know. I could be eating all my words. I may have it after 45 days. I may be using the heck out of it, man. Um, this thing's already made money. If you watch the one video from box to gig. So, you know what I'm saying. Oh, crap. What? Oh, man, look. Whoa, a John Deere 790. Sweet. All right, we need to get this stuff set up for you. All right, guys, I want to show you something where we're setting or starting off right here. So I think the raindrops were just maybe some warning drops. We're getting breaks in clouds, but maybe I can get this done. Um, so I just threw this together, MG10, uh, using a Line 6 Pod Go, uh, the Shure GLXD wireless, uh, using a uh, 57 right here. And then uh, there's the Harbinger set up. I got a little bit mode so I can walk back a little easier. And uh, um, just real quick, this is where we're starting. So we see channel 3 right there. Um, channel 3, uh, just for this example real quick, it's just right at uh, Unity, um, 
only a little bit of gain on it. Um, and the lower right corner, the master volume, this is probably a tad higher than our normal gig levels in all actuality. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, and then let me walk you out here to um, this right here. So, you see, um, we're online there, uh, channel one from the mixer. Um, lower left right there is the uh, volume that's where we're at there. I got the trebles turned down just a little bit because if you remember in my initial thoughts video, I thought it was really, really top heavy um, in some of like higher notes that I was singing, um, and maybe just because I was used to. The Yamaha DBR12. Um, I know the DXR12 Mark IIs I have are brighter, but uh, anyways, all right, let's uh, let's do this before we get rain. All right, before I forget, we're at like 18 yards right now. 18 yards out. So, um, like I said, about 18 yards out, uh, talking through the 57. No singing, dude, just woke up, man. And uh, I keep practicing by myself, but it was over two nights ago. We're practicing for an upcoming gig, and we got one tomorrow night. Then after that, my testing's probably done with this for a little bit because um, we got to get ready for, like, a uh, plus or minus 300 people out in the morning. And, uh, open the Coming up next Thursday, I think it is. We are playing through the Squire, uh, Squire Telly here. I want to walk out too with you guys, see how it sounds. These are uh, the acoustic patches here I got from um, um, Josh Gordon, if you haven't checked out his channel. Um, he, uh, he did a couple of uh, patches, I think, for a Strat. Um, so I've thanked him for these, so uh, if you guys want to check out, I know there's a bunch of uh, uh, Pago. Um, stuff out there uh, but if you want to check his out he had stuff for some acoustic stuff too so. Alright, so I just kicked the, uh, the input on uh, channel 1 here on the harp.
uh, volume on the mixer uh, straight up and down. So let's see what we got now. So. <laughs> guys but I'm not a uh, so Let's, uh, let's run her up a little bit. See if we stay clean. Two little uh, hash marks past uh, past noon there. Now I don't know if that's like 60 dB if it's linear or not. I don't know, but that's where we're at. All right, boys. Hey, one two. All right, you guys all looking good tonight.
So we have coffee right here. It's my uh, first coffee and my first dip of the day. If you guys dip, ain't that the best? I'm just saying. All right, if you're still sticking around, you are hearing this through a... Um, uh, oh, I know what I'm saying. I'm saying it sounds kind of good back here. It's only a tad muffled, but I can definitely hear what I'm saying and doing. But I hope it's coming through uh, clear out there. Notches, so we are two before unity on the master of the MG10XU. I'm gonna take a walk around. I put it on the acoustic patch that we've used the most lately. So, just in case it feeds back and I'm not here, I'm just gonna kill my mic for a second. So I started hearing a little bit of smearing like over here with the guitar, but I, I got to chalk that up to the wind right now. Um, hey, it's not a point source, right? So it's not, uh, it's not beaming out straight. So I wanted to take you guys, um, I'm going to keep moving you guys around for dispersion, but uh, I definitely hear it great over here. I see no reason why it's any type of problem whatsoever. So um, um, what else I was going to tell you? Yeah, this uh, low battery on my uh, GLXD, used it at the gig on Friday. Or Saturday night, charged up, uh, came home and played for like three more hours because I'm dumb like that and that's what I do. And then I went to, um, um, and then I practiced with it last night and two nights ago and uh, still on the same charge from Saturday. So I did a review on that before and um, I said that it was, um, um, you know, great battery life and stuff like that. So I guess this is kind of a little bit of a test for wireless too, not too far out, you know, so. So um, anyways, y'all, so. Um, all right, so um, I guess when I listen back to this, I'll see how the vocals came through. And um, I know there's really no singing right now because just got up. You guys are the first ones I talked to. There was something else I was gonna tell you too, and I forgot what it was. Uh, if I remember it, I'll let you know. But before we uh, start getting the raindrops, I don't know what else to do right now. Don't wanna make this too long. Tell me what you think. Um, please comment on my cable management here so I uh, get some comments, you know, so. Um...
I'm just joking on the cable management. I know it sucks. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. One, two. All right. One, two. Honestly, I probably had the uh, guitar tattoo hop for the mic. But, uh... All right, y'all. One, two. All right. Check her out, boys. Let's have a good time tonight. Like I always say, you guys have fun gigging. Um, I usually don't push my stuff too heavy when it's newer. This is still newer, and um, I hope I keep it. I don't, or I hope I don't have to eat none of my words, but for the money and our context, you know what, seriously, we uh, kill the reverb here. So we get a lot of gigs. Um, Besides just inside, we get some patio gigs outside. We also get uh, private stuff. Um, sometimes they're outside. And so far, I think for the sound, from my ears, unless I change, I like it. For the money, I like it. The ability to forego the mixer and go straight into that, I like it. Um, there's a lot of advantages to this, to the point where I'm thinking about ordering a second one while the Memorial Day sales are going on. So anyway, um, you guys be good. You guys be good. Do good shows. Do what's right for you guys. God bless you. I gotta shut this down and go check myself for ticks out. See ya. Bye. Alright guys, one more thing. Right, guys the mixer is still two before unity and i just kicked the volume up on this to about three quarters so i know what i was going to tell you um i am the, the your recording is a google pixel 6 so take that for what it is all right boys check her out whoa 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 now i'm hearing something whoa 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 but that's from back here Ah, uh, baby, one, two, all right, hey, let's rock it out, come on now, one, two, all right, all right one, two. Ah, right, boys, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, from back here, it's just a little, um, I'm hearing a little, a little something different. Uh, I can't describe it, but maybe out front is fine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, the plastics and all that, it's always, uh, always mushed up on the in the back, so. All right, there you go. Two before unity on the mixer, three quarters of the way up. Not even three quarters, actually. Good shows. God bless you guys. See ya.